the camera on. He's lying to me. Punch him in the wiener so hard. <laughs> his release in the truck. He's a giant. He's so freaking giant. giant. <laughs> Alright, well, we're in a little bit of trouble here. If, if Google is right and there is a gas station, then we might just make it. If there isn't one, we're, we're host. So, let's hope there's some gas here. Yes! Yes! Gas! Gas! There's gas. Oh, that was sketchy, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One little dinky pump. That wasn't scary. <laughs> All right, so we just got to Colorado. We're gonna pull up, grab our tags, and uh, head out to the to the forest. Okay, where the trees are. All right, so Belmer's a champ setting up the new Kodiak Canvas 12x12 cabin tent. Yeah, I had to do my 75 hard, my second workout, so I was hurrying trying to do that while unloading the truck and then trying to assist him. And then eventually I got all the bedding out and set up the cots and well, he was finished setting up the stakes. But teamwork makes the dream work. Hopefully we have some bulls bugle in the morning and something we can chase. All right, so we're just gonna still hunt and call. No bugles this morning. Bulls are just silent. We're gonna get in there and just try to ruffle some feathers and we're ready in the event that a bull comes in silent. So we're gonna try to be prepared for that. Pretty quiet in the elk woods. For September 16th. Crazy, crazy. through the national forest here and check some walls and come down. And then we'll go take a nap. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. I need a nap. Master Chef. We are gonna cook some bacon. Okay. Smoked pork Beautiful black pepper. pepper. Black pepper bacon. Dude, that smells unreal. <laughs> then we're gonna warm up some turkey meat. Okay. 
And then when we grab the cheese, we're gonna put cheese on a tortilla and then wrap it all together. Oh, that's a great idea, Bo. Bo knows. Okay. Cheese. Tortilla. Luckily, I got some of this open. Okay, let's see how Bo did here. Ready? <laughs> 10 out of 10, Bob. 10 out of 10? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you thinking? Some plan? Yeah. Go out on the edge of the canyon, down the canyon, back up the other side. We'll be kind of more in a position to at least intercept them. Gotcha. If anything. There's a beagle again. You hear it? Yeah. Okay, I heard uh I heard two beagles. I heard two beagles this morning. There was just another beagle there, so that's the fourth beagle I've heard this morning. So glad it wasn't my mind playing tricks on me because you guys <laughs> didn't hear it. I'm like, no, that was certainly a beagle. Yeah. So hopefully we get some action today. Where's that beagle just now? Yeah. Oh, the one over there? Yeah. It probably was, I don't know, it sounded like it was pretty high. Well, there's elk hair still. Yeah. Just gotta stick one now, put them in a the pot.
been chasing him at one point. He sounds like he's a ways away now, but he was raking the tree like 40 yards in front of us and then I snuck in at Belmer kind of wait right there and keep an eye on him. I snuck in at 20, no shot. And all of a sudden he decided just to turn and walk away. We bumped his cows a little bit, I think. Oh. I think he kind of followed them. Is that a decent bull? Yeah, he's pretty decent. Five point. It's sissy ran away. I know. Oh yeah, he was raking there for probably two minutes. And then at about 40 and I snuck to 20 and I'm like, I can't even shoot him, he's so thick. Guess we got some action this morning. I know. Then he's got way out there in front of us. Yeah. At least we heard some bugles. Yeah, you had a solid plan. High five, bro. That's <laughs> fun. Him in the wiener so hard. <laughs> I just know he went from screaming to doing nothing. I heard his voice out. He came right like this. I thought he was gonna pin me and look at me, and then he jumped off like this. Thirty yard pin, smoked him top of one. Yeah. Look at the what's the footage. Oh, he's a jokester, that's why I didn't know. So you had right? no idea, Joe. No. 
I was down over the hill here. I thought you heard him dying, so like you're like, oh, I'll stay on the call so I can keep. No, I I thought I was just trying to get a response, because I was like, there's no way he just went from screaming in our face to nothing. But if he's got an arrow in him, that's a little different story. <laughs> Look at this arrow. Some blood. He was right here. Oh, found blood over there. Lots of blood. Oh my gosh. Show you the blood here in a second, but it's all, it's all bubbled up on the log, too. Really? Definite long shot. <laughs> Let's get down here and eat some snacks and give it some time. Let's go eat our snacks by the blood. I feel like 100%. He went this. like this right into me. He's coming like, I'm like, oh no, here we go. This is a frontal <laughs> shot. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went like this. And then he... Dude, when he's bugling right there, that's like the coolest. You need a picture of that. Oh, I know. So on the skyline in the trees. We worked hard to get over there. And then you hammered I can't believe he just bugled. If he hadn't bugled, we'd have been back at camp. Right I know. We'd have been back at the camp eating bacon and eggs. <laughs> Snack time. Just double on the five by five. So hopefully we can find him here and uh, make a quick and speedy recovery. These elk are tough. Had some bad luck over the years recovering bulls, but I think this one's good. I think this one's good. We're gonna follow this blood out just a little bit and then um, kind of hang up here at the edge of the trees and make a decision. It's been about an hour. There he is. <laughs> He's just right here. Him. <laughs> oh here he lay. Got him. Five by five. Um, double long, didn't go 60. First one with the bow. Yep. Took us two years to put this together. You had him just occupied long enough that he, when I sprinted up the ridge, I heard the bugle going away and I'm like, dude, I've got to sprint. I was like, my lungs are on fire, my legs are on fire. I'm like, it's now or never. And you just kept doing your thing long enough for him to kind of want to see. And then I'm like, oh no, he's going to come right into me. And so then he turned. I'm like, no, I'm not taking that shot. He turned, smoked him. Yeah, I didn't even know you shot. I you Yeah, you, you thought we were messing with I you. I did, yeah. <laughs> and now we have a dead bull. Yeah. Yeah, we went from hike, went going to eat bacon and eggs to hearing a bull bugle <laughs> to killing it. Yeah. <laughs> mode, but just in like I was in limp mode because I was looking for blood. Yeah. And I was like, there's no blood. And then how, I was like, how can well, this be? There's no blood. They must have blew out or something, you know, or left. He grabbed his cows and left again and then and then that's when I walked up there and I looked at you and you're like, dude, he smoked. And I was like Pfft. more pressure than a guy like me. Here we go, front leg off. This is so awesome, dude. And one of the many reasons why we do it right here. Guess what, Bandry? What? I shot a bull with my bow. What? Just about, I don't know, three hours ago? Really? Four hours ago? Yeah. Have? We're in Colorado. We got it done, girls. <laughs> Monday night. Why? Uh, Cause I gotta help Bo get a bull, Bo get a bull. Oh, okay. And then I'm gonna shoot a bear. Oh. Okay. Love you. Thank you. Okay, see you guys. Bye. We're in blitzed in here to Bear Rock. We're smoked from packing elk meat and 
killing that bull and cleaning him out, but we're up here trying to maximize our opportunities, so hopefully we can catch a big old bear making a mistake tonight. We only have a few minutes left of flight and uh, no bears tonight. We kind of got up here a little bit late. Uh, irregardless, a uh, beautiful, quiet evening here on the mountain. How's that for a victory meal? Oh, that's amazing. Anyway, we slept in, we're feeling good. We had kind of a long day yesterday as far as kind of animal and eating cinnamon rolls and stuff. So <laughs> we're gonna hike up to Bear Rock and post up till 11 o'clock or so when we feel like the, the morning hunt's over and hopefully we can catch a bear on the move and feed him at 212. Snack 30 boys. I'll, I'll include a link in the YouTube video so you guys can pick up the sausage breakfast meat sticks. These are amazing. What do you got for snacks today, Bo? Coconut butter biscuit. A what? Coconut butter biscuit. Those are delicious too. In fact, you turned me on to those. Those are good. That's pretty good. Yeah, these are good. So Bo spotted a bull over there. He forgot his release. He blew on the cow call and the bull's coming over right now. We don't have a bow for Bo to shoot him with. Bo's got a tag too. Unbelievable. Things coming in on a string. Dude, where is your bow? Oh my gosh. All right, he's, he's coming up right below me. I'm on top of Bear Rock and he's coming up right here. stood there broadside for 30 seconds and we'd have been tagged out. Unbelievable. You never know what's gonna happen in the woods. You never stinking know. That's why you always come prepared. <laughs> you didn't have your bow. Yeah. It's about how it works though. Don't beat yourself up too bad. That sucked. That was, uh, that was absolutely amazing though. That was so cool. He came on literally the string and sat there for you broadside. Twice. Twice. It was cool though. That was super cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did that last year with that other A little boy. angry at myself, but yeah. it's all right. Maybe it'll happen again. Maybe it'll happen again. Maybe we'll get lucky again. Yeah. Now back to the back to camp, have some bacon and eggs. And uh, figure out a plan for tonight. Okay. Ten four over now. Thanks, bud. And cut. Alright, it would be. An utter travesty if we didn't bring attention to these <laughs> cinnamon rolls that Bo's wife, Katie, made. They're raspberry cinnamon rolls, and wham, they are heavenly. We're going to eat them before other people come to camp and we have to share. <laughs> not that we're selfish, really. Yeah. <laughs> not that we don't want to share or nothing. We were just sitting here and we had to eat them. <laughs> Got a good
of an evening here. We're out early. We're actually gonna hike up the side hill here and we're gonna sit over my elk carcass and see if there's a bear hitting it. Never done this before. There should be enough bear around. There should be a bear on this carcass. So cross our fingers that a bear comes out. And kind of a shot in the dark, but figured we'd give it a try. <laughs> over here on this carcass tonight. Uh, it's like a pretty good storm rolling in, so we're gonna hurry and get out of here. And I still gotta do my 45 minute workout. Well, pretty slow evening. We're gonna head back to the truck. You see me? Yeah. Are you sure? Here yeah. you come. All right, this fox stole my croc. At 4.30, sometime after 4.30 this morning, he stole my croc. There he is. Where's my croc, buddy? <laughs> you stole my croc. Where's my croc, bud? <laughs> Where'd you put it, bud? Where'd you put it? Look at him come up here. Here. Might as well take the other one. I know you took it. <laughs> he did take it. <laughs> what did you do with my croc? He actually is pretty cute. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I, it does piss me off he took my croc. <laughs> <laughs> You know he did. You saw how he grabbed it. <laughs> he knew just how to he's grab the croc. Guilty as charged. Oh yeah, he's guilty. <laughs> I just wanted to see if he knew how to pick it up. <laughs> oh my god. He came close. He had to he had to build some rapport with me. <laughs> We're friends now, almost. <laughs> Once he gives you a croc back. You know, to return the croc, bud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try and hit the morning. See if we can't get something going. I don't know, we haven't really hunted an early morning. So we're doing that now to see if we can't maximize some of our time to see how we do here. So go out to Bear Rock, try to find some bear. Already digging in the snacks, it's gonna be a long day. Check this out. We're gonna we're gonna try put this stealth cam over the carcass, and because we sat it last night and we didn't see anything, but I thought, wow, man, we got a stealth cam. We might as well put one over the carcass and see if anything's hidden. So that's what we're gonna do right now. It, well, it doesn't look like any bears have hit it. Just a bunch of birds. Crazy to think the bear hasn't found this yet. We think it's only a matter of time until there's a bear on this carcass, especially with these birds hitting it more. Do you think? I think so. Girls and magpies bring the bears in. Dude, we'll check this tonight and then decide if we're gonna set it or go to the regular bear spot. Yeah. All right, so plan is can of cow call through here, see if we can get an elk to respond and mm -hmm. make our way over to hunt bear. So what's your theory? If you cow call, any bears come in? It sure seems like it. In open areas at least? Probably in closed areas too, you just don't see them, I don't think. But yeah. I've heard a lot of stories of people having bears walk in on them while they're cow calling, but I don't know. Maybe there's nothing to it, but. Let's try it. Sure seems like a coincidence. Let's see if we can see our first bear tonight. We'll use
hustled down there and filmed him. I don't know how good a shot it was, but we'll see what they say. Here. The bull came from up here, came all the way down. I spotted it right there. I bow shot it right there. This one right here. I could, I could just see. Have you seen my air placement? Yeah, I'll look at the forecast real quick and see if it's gonna rain, dude. Oh, that's crazy. Good thing I brought my bow tonight, huh? Oh. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, so we found out it's gonna rain at 11 o'clock, so we yeah, at least we at least, least want to find a little bit of blood so we can track it out. Uh, yeah, especially if this blood trail is gonna be washed away. Super proud of you, bud. <laughs> Super proud of you, bud. Super proud of myself, bud. What's up, guys? <laughs> um. Anyway, we're gonna go recover Bull's bow. Bow's bull. <laughs> Say that again. We're gonna recover Bow's bull. Yeah. We're gonna recover the Bull's bow. Yeah, there or, you go. Anyway, let's go. Alright. <laughs> I'm surprised. Same bull we called him the other morning. Yeah. 
There he is. What do you think, yeah. buddy? <laughs> Finally found him. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> Short tracking job. Nice five point. Heck yeah. All right, what an absolutely crazy sequence of events from last <laughs> night to recovering this bull not very far from, maybe 200 yards from where Bo shot him or so, maybe a little further. But I'm pretty sure we bumped a bear off this thing. The bear had ripped the guts out and it already dragged him from his final resting place. Yeah. You got it done, man. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yeah, glad we could help out and be a part of it. Help call and get you in a position and get a little bit of it on film. And that's pretty neat. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So we'll make quick work of this guy and we'll all take a load. We should be able to get him out on one load. I think so. It might be a little nasty, but yeah, not get too it though. Oh. So it looks like this bear grabbed him right through the backbone. Pretty crazy how powerful these bear's jaws are. All right, we got the tenderloins out with the Capra Hunter TI. Doesn't get much prettier than that. That's why we do it right there, Bo. <laughs> Bo doesn't like pitcher sessions. He says they're tiring. They are. Where are you out? It's harder than doing cutting up the meat. <laughs> it's gonna be a little rough. Forward a little bit. Slow so you don't stab yourself, you know, by tripping on it. We're back here at my carcass. It looks even more eaten, maybe even twice as much as earlier today. So we're gonna camp out here tonight and hopefully a big bear comes out. Kind of a shot in the dark, but we haven't had much luck here with bear. So here we go. I'm out here in the dark. I can't find my way. I'm out here in the dark And now I can't find my way Everybody's gonna find out what you've been up to When the sunlight hits the day I'm out here in the dark Now I can't find my way I'm out here in the dark I can't find my way He's a freaking giant. He's a freaking giant. He's a freaking giant. He's freaking huge, dude. You see him standing over that thing? 212 grain, baby. Freaking didn't even move, dude. 212 smoking. I was trying to call my wife and Aaron, but anyway, I got so bored and I was having a coughing attack, I had to leave. So I went on a walk and told Belmer to text me if a bear shows up and a freaking pig showed up on my elk carcass. Hornady 300 PRC, 212 grain, didn't even boop. Light out. I literally just shot a giant bear over the elk carcass that I killed with my bow. Un freaking believable. That's why you never give up and you never quit. Unbelievable, let's get over there. Wow, I absolutely can't believe this. Very last day, last light, we killed this giant giant bear big old grizzly hump teeth literally worn doesn't even have teeth unbelievable unbelievable this bear doesn't have teeth 
Oh my gosh, he's got silver eyes and silver hair on top. It's so freaking old. Vengeance is mad. Oh, vengeance is mad. Quite unbelievable, really. This bear was chewing on my whole carcass. Put her down the last light. What's that you say? Oh, what's that you say? Okay, two, two bulls, five days, one big bear. One big bear. Pretty incredible. Doesn't get that much more epic than that. Yeah, it was a pretty, pretty awesome weekend. Yeah. Pretty cool weekend. Yep, can't beat it. Till next year, huh? Yep. Appreciate it. <laughs> Get back to the family. Get back to the four tornadoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is incredible. Fit it all in a Tacoma. Entire bear, entire elk, five days worth of camp. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave us a comment. Like this video. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. Woo. All right, guys. Thanks for watching Hat Trick. Be sure to subscribe right here. We couldn't do this without you. Hit the notification button so you don't miss another episode from us. And also, be sure to check out this video right here. It is the best black bear kill reel you'll see on the internet. Do us a favor and watch it. Catch you on the next one.